Well, what is going on, everybody? If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Paul. I also go by the Philly Flipper. I'm a full-time reseller who lives in the Philadelphia area. Hence the name, right? I still say that. I haven't made a video in forever, so I forget, I forget what my intro always is. For those of you guys who are my OG fans, you guys will know that I made my um, my roots, my roots of this channel were always storage units. And today, I bought another one. So, uh, it's going to be a little different video. It's going to be a storage unit haul. I'm here in um, the U-Haul Storage Center in Overbrook, Philadelphia. And I paid $50 for this storage unit. Let's go see what's inside. First thing I pull out are these two TVs. This one is a Craig. This one is an Element. Not the best brands for TVs, but they both have HDMI capability. Uh, because of the HDMI thing, if they both work, you should probably get about 20 to 30 bucks for that set. That's if they work. Um, my success rate with TVs and storage units is usually about 80%. So. I have high hopes. So pretty much those two TVs pay for the whole storage unit. So everything else that you see is pretty much free. <laughs> So we got an Xbox right here, but looks like it's pretty painted over. It's super dusty. I have my doubts that this one works. It's, uh, it's Xbox One. Uh, I have my doubts if it works or not, but even for parts only, it's still pretty good. Got the power cord right here for it. So we got a Wii and an Xbox in the first two bins. Pretty good. <laughs> All bags like this are just full of clothes. Uh, I don't go through them at the storage unit, I go through at the warehouse. I just put them to the side because eventually I get through them. But I probably have like 20 plus of these bags already at the warehouse that aren't sorted. So this is like how my death pile gets built. <laughs> this is bags full of these clothes that eventually I'll go through. 
there's like jeans and hoodies and stuff in here so there's probably good stuff just doesn't really interest me <laughs> but eventually it does get it, it eventually i do go through it but you guys will not know what's inside it today Looks like one of those cheap RC cars. Boxes damaged too. This is, uh, I think that's gonna be a good little item. I'm not gonna resell that. A couple lawn chairs. Um, unfortunately, it's very far sell pretty well for me locally in the summer so I guess I'll just put them in my storage in the warehouse and sell them next year One of my favorite slash least favorite things to find, Apple boxes. Moment of truth, always empty. But the Apple watch boxes still sell by themselves. Here we got a whole tote of toys. I don't want to sort through them here, so if I'll go to the warehouse, but you guys see there's a, some Hulk stuff in here, some cars. This stuff is worth me going through because you never know with toys what sells and how much money you can get. But something stupid like this could be worth money. So um, I will go through it at my warehouse and see what value there is. like a DS Super Mario but as of now one uh, oh dang another one uh, low end I'll estimate like there's 40 bucks in here but there could be more or less like these guys probably sell for something but um I'll say 40 bucks in the store right here Another tote full of toys. One has dolls and action figures and dinosaurs, and alligators. A lot, a lot of toys in here as well. I'll put another 40 bucks on this one and we'll see what it goes for.
honor could have sold for something. But as you see, the base is destroyed. It's like someone like was eating it or something. I'm not sure what's happening. Here. So also trash, unfortunately. Another bag of clothes. And another bag of clothes. Never seen one of these before, but it probably has some resale value. Mini mouse vacuum. Unfortunately, this is the condition that most of the plush that I find in storage units are dirty, beat up, destroyed. This looks like one of those like Wish Apple Watches. It's called Eye Touch. <laughs> Good news is that every storage unit that provides me with a limited supply of these and these. I probably have like hundreds of them, but I keep collecting them just in case I run out one day. <laughs> You already know. Another bin full of clothes. Weird brands I never heard of. That doesn't mean. Good news, Charlie Bruce, not a good sign either. Uh, probably like 40, 50 bucks in here, at least. This thing is stuffed with clothes, so. It doesn't take much to get 50 bucks in clothes. Three or four items and you get your money, you get 50 bucks with there, so. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go guess on the low end and say at least 50 bucks right here. Another tote. Look like a Yamaha. Look like a Yamaha. Look like a Yamaha. Uh, guitar cover. Hangers. Kind of like. Oh, it's not Yamaha. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's Yana. It's some kind of like the zip up vest. I don't know. <laughs> it's a Yamaha. Oh uh, man, yeah, I don't uh, don't have high hopes for this stove, but it could be a couple bucks in here. Forever 21, hey, jeans will sell, there we go. <laughs> Probably another like 20, 40, 20 to 40 bucks in here. Uh, nothing too great, unfortunately, but the bin's good, the toast's gonna be fine. <laughs> I see true religion that's a little more like it too bad it's the kids but hey that's giving me high hopes for this whole bin let's see 
next one I look at it. It's H&M. H&M I'll take two. H&M sells for me pretty frequently. Pink, Victoria's Secret. It's actually probably one of the best brands to find the storage units. This stuff sells like hotcakes, Victoria's Secret stuff. Okay, I like this bag a lot. <laughs> I'm putting a hundred bucks. I'm probably gonna be optimistic, but I'm putting a hundred dollars in this bag right here. This bag is full of clothes and the first two look that were good. Another bag full of clothes. Then what we have left in here is four more bags of uh, school of clothes that I'll do 50 bucks a bag on. This is trash. This if I can get 20 or so bucks for. And the piece at the bottom looks kind of cool as well. So I'll probably get like 20, 30 bucks for that. So there you have it. There's my, there is a $50 storage unit. I should have been doing a, a tally down below of how much money I think I have in here, but not too bad. It started off really good. The first two totes were probably the best two totes in here with the Wii and the Xbox and everything else that was there. But I have a lot of clothes, which is not what I like to see because I hate dealing with clothes, but that's where the money is. <laughs> so I think I did okay. Um, let me know down below what you guys thought of this unit. Uh, but yeah, looks like I'm back in the storage in the game. Me, surrounded by my greatness, by my empire. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this style of video. I'm going to be providing more of these for you guys in the future. But for now, it's a meal from me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.